Jessica and this is another edition of our lifestyle videos and I want to talk to you guys um, today about organization and it sort of ties into my last video which was about planning and this will be about organization of some of the most common planning supplies which are washi tape and stickers. I know a lot of us struggle with um, where do we keep them, especially if you don't have a lot of space and you don't want things to look cluttered. So I have a couple of ideas that I've tried that I want to share with you guys and some have worked for me, some haven't and there's different reasons why they haven't, but maybe there will be something here that you can apply for yourself and that can work for you. So hopefully you find something that you like and if you have any other ideas that you want to share with me in the comments, I would love to hear them. So let's start off with washi tape organization. And when I first started getting into planning and buying washi tape, I looked at some YouTube videos, obviously as you do, and I found something that I thought would be great and it didn't work for me just because I don't have a massive washi tape collection like you would need really to fill up um, this particular system. This is a close to my heart, small, box and it fits washi tape really perfectly you can stand them up in here but as you can see there's a lot of space here unless you have a lot of washi tape that you're going to put in here it's really not going to work as good for you because if this is not full the washi is going to slide around so i didn't like that it was hard for me to find things because no matter how you organize it if it slides around you're not going to find stuff as easy so if you have a lot of washi tape though this is a really good option and they're not too expensive i am currently using it even though it's empty i am currently using it to keep my ink pads so it does work really well for that the next thing i tried for washi was um the washi tape or tape dispensers from Michaels and I like the idea of this because you can actually have it out and it has the cut um, strip here so in reality it should work like a regular tape dispenser that you would use like at an office but I really had issues with this um, the washi wasn't was like going one on top of the other and I really was having trouble with getting this to work for me um, you could get several of these and stack them up, but so if, if you're okay with, um, using it as a tape dispenser, there's no separation for the different washi tapes, so that was my issue with it, um, but this is also, a, an idea. The next thing that I want to tell you guys about is this, uh, washi tape organizer from Hobby Lobby. I picked this up on a sale with a coupon, so it was really, really inexpensive. And the only issue I had with it, see this is how it comes, and they Velcro in and out, and you could just put your washi tape in here. So my issue with these, um, it fits most standard size washi tapes nicely, but if you have a washi tape that's a little bit wider, it's going to have a little bit of a hard time closing. So I was really struggling with that. It does hold quite a bit of washi. So, and it doesn't take up hardly any space. So I think this is a really good inexpensive option if you have a decent sized collection of washi tape and you can carry it with you. So the next thing I'm going to tell you guys about is something that I actually had in my house and I saw it in a group and I was like, oh my god, I can use that and it's just sitting in my basement. I am currently using it just for my spare washi tape so it doesn't have a whole lot in it and I do keep it in a closet, not displayed, but it's a stackable spice rack and technically this is how it works. These drawers just slide out and you should use it for like spices but it works really well for washi tape and then you would just slide it out look at your washi pick out the one you want put it back in so i think this is a good and pretty inexpensive option too because it can hold a lot of washi tape um, and when i actually bought these i picked them up at bed bath and beyond but i do believe that you can get these for pretty cheap pretty much anywhere i'll see if i can find a couple of links for you guys and um, link to all the things that i've talked about and the thing that i'm currently using and i am loving and it holds the washi tape that i most commonly use and that i really like and it keeps it handy to where i'm 
uh, where I normally plan, which is right behind me in my little craft um, sitting area. It's an interdesign eyeglass case. And what's really cool about this, it has three drawers and it's all clear. So you can pull the drawer out completely. So that's really neat if you're planning and you can keep things organized in different color categories or however you like to organize your washi. You can just pull out the drawer and they actually have, let's see if I can do this for you guys. If you can see it, they actually have separation because it's meant for eyeglasses. So it keeps your washi in a nice, neat little row. And there we go. and it holds quite a bit of washi. So I would probably say um, you could store at least 25 in each drawer. So you would get a good 75 washies or maybe 60 something washies in here, depending how thick they are. And they're all very cute, very good quality. It's like a hard plastic. And I just keep that right behind me. And it's ready for when I want to plan. And now before we get into sticker organization, I do want to mention one thing that I think would be great for both um, stickers and washi if you don't have a whole lot of both. Or actually, it does help hold quite a bit. So, you know, you, you can have a decent amount of planning supplies. And it's one of the Create 365 Me and My Big Ideas planner bag. Um, this has two main compartments and they zipper up each one and it's designed here it is, It's designed so that on the main side you can put your happy planner. It does fit also um, an Erin Condren and I've used it also to put my um, A5 Kiki K in here. It has these two Velcro bags where you can either put pens or scissors or whiteout or adhesive tape or any kind of things like that. And then you have two zipper compartments in the back, which I think are perfect for sticking your washi and maybe some sticker books or things like that. You can keep post-it notes in here. Um, you can keep a lot of stuff in here. So I think this is a really good purchase if you can find it um, and depending on obviously the amount of stuff that you have plus you have everything you need for planning and you can carry it around with you whether it is for travel or just to plan in different parts of your house. Okay so now on to sticker organization. Uh, I've used only a couple of um, ideas and the first thing I'm going to show you guys are really small photo albums. You can pick these up really inexpensive. Um, I picked these up at Michael's and I think they were maybe a dollar fifty each or something like that. And what I had done, which uh, they're empty, what I had done was I separated the stickers in here. So you would just stick your stickers in here, whatever didn't fit, I cut it down to size. And I was using these um, stick on labels on the edges on the edges to separate different categories so that things would be easier for me to find the problem with these is as I got more stickers this got really bulky so these were not closing like this so then I would have something that would just stay open really really big and it wasn't working for me um, when I was using the Mambi bag, I was carrying these in the Mambi bag. So I think that this would be a good choice if you don't have a huge amount of stickers that you need to carry with you. It does keep them separated by category, so they're going to be easy for you to find. So this is a good choice for that, and you can customize the covers. Again, this just sort of slides out so you can print out something that you like. I didn't really do anything with them. This is how I bought them. Um, but you, you can make them cute and make them you know, something that you'd like to look at. For the, from there, the next thing I did for a sticker organization, and it worked for me for quite some time, are these small binders. And I got these at, I believe it was Staples. And because they're cute binders, they were a little bit more money, but you can pick this up, this size binder, um, like a plain white for pretty cheap. And I just used my labor make, label maker to, um, mark them as planner stickers because you can't on these particular ones you can't insert any um, label 
And basically in here I just put um, sheet protectors. And what I did with the sheet protectors is I used cardstock. And I cut it down to size so that I could make both sides of the sheet protector usable because I didn't want it to look messy. So this allowed me to see what was on each side and give it some separation. Again, with this, I was also using the stick-on dividers to mark the different sections. I had originally purchased actual dividers for this size planner, but the issue with that is, I mean, you can sort of see it here, the divider itself is smaller than the page protectors. So you couldn't really see the tabs. So I wasn't using the dividers that I purchased and I was just sticking on the tags on whatever section I needed, however I wanted to separate the, the planner stickers. Yeah, because of the amount of stickers that I have, I was obviously using more than one of these and it got to the point where when I was buying new stickers, the binder that might have the section that I wanted to add stickers to was really full and I couldn't add anything else to that unless I moved everything to another, um, to another binder. So because of that, I looked for other ideas on things, um, on how to do things. And um, this was also a little big for sheets that were really small or sampler sheets or um, leftover sheets or things like that. So I was looking for a way that wouldn't necessarily take up so much space for those smaller stickers as well. So what I found is actually still a binder. It's just a full size binder and I just put um, scrap of paper to make it look a little prettier. This is basically a one inch binder, which I might consider going to a bigger one. Um, I just had this in the house, so it didn't really cost me anything to try it. And it currently has, so it currently has dividers for regular um, work binders. And these I also had in the house. And I just used my label maker to um, put the descriptions of all the sections and what I'm basically using is cardstock cut down to a regular eight and a half by eleven size and I'm using washi tape to stick the pages to the cardstock and that works really well for me with like leftover stickers or small things because it doesn't uh, bulk up or stack up. Um, certain things that were also small and I didn't want to necessarily have them take up a whole bunch of space. I used some of the sheet protectors that I had in my smaller planner book and I kept the cardstock that was in them and I just cut it so that it still has the seal on three sides and it's just open at the top and I use the washi tape to hold the back of the cardstock in all around and I have a little pocket that I can keep some of the smaller stickers in. So when I go use the stickers they're just really easy to um, just peel them right off of here so I don't really have to um, do anything else with them. If you have another idea on a way that I could be organizing some of my washi or stickers that you think would work better for me, I would love to hear about it, so be sure to leave me a comment. I hope you guys have a good week, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.